Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So from the thumbnail, I hope you get to know about today's topic of the video. In this video, I will be discussing the best colleges that is there in India for doing MTech in Computer Science and Engineering. Now, MTech in Computer Science is one of the most sought after courses in India who want to do some higher studies in the field of Computer Science and also want to do some specialization in some uh, specific areas like AI, Machine Learning, Cryptography and so on and so forth. And it not only give you an advanced knowledge of the course, also provide you excellent job opportunity in various industries like software industries and product based industries. Now for getting into these colleges, GATE rank is a mandatory thing and since GATE 2023 is over, uh, you already have the answer keys that is provided by IITs and you know approximately how much marks you are getting and approximately what should be your GATE rank. This is the perfect time to do a survey of all the colleges that is there in India for doing computer science MTech. So that will be the content of this video. If you want to know detail about all these colleges, please stay tuned with this video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I'll upload a video, you'll get instant notification. And please do like the video. Without further ado, let's get starting into today's video. Now, number one would be undoubtedly Indian Institute of Science Bangalore or ISC Bangalore. So as you all know, ISC Bangalore is, is the top research institution in our country for science and technology. And MTech in CSE or CSA, Computer Science and Automation Department is highly regarded in our country in different industries and academia. Uh, so if you are getting an opportunity to do, to do MTech there, uh, it should be your first choice uh, because the MTech curriculum that is designed there in the Computer Science and Automation Department, uh, it's really balanced. It, it gives you the fundamental knowledge, the foundational knowledge of Computer Science. At the same time, it will give you some opportunity to explore in some specialized areas like computer systems, uh, theoretical computer science, algorithmic uh, computer science, AI machine learning, cryptography, and there are many other fields are there. And also, as I was saying, IIC is highly, uh, you know, regarded for its uh, research, research culture. So the whole curriculum of computer science is towards uh, uh, research oriented. So in each, uh, each courses, you will have some research oriented project and through which you, you, can, you can nurture your, uh, your mindset towards uh, research. And, and all the researchers that is there, all the professors, they are highly experienced and they are kind of the uh, top researchers. Most of them are top researchers in their, in their respective fields. So that's why if you work under them, uh, you will have an idea during your MTech that how a research uh, should be conducted. Overall placement is also good there, but research always add one, one, one additional benefit for the students who are doing MTech from ISC Bangalore uh, CSE. The facilities at ISC is are st state of the art. It includes a lot of the research labs, libraries there, computational facilities there. And it is, it is home for many research centers as well. Like we have Robert Bosch centers for cyber uh, physical system and we also have center for computational uh, brain sciences. So these are the research lab that is there where also you can do your master's project and have an idea about whatever the work is going on there. Overall in IIC you can you can do uh, MTech in computer science in three areas. Uh, first of all is MTech in AI. The second is MTech in CSA that is in computer science automation department. And the third one is MTech in CDS that is computational and data science department. Uh, so recent trend uh, that I have seen is that most of the toppers used to choose MTech in uh, AI. Then, then people choose MTech in CSE and finally people choose uh, MTech in CDS. So typically, uh, if you have a rank within, within 30 or 50, you will go for MTech in AI. If you would have a rank around 100, you will go for MTech in CSE. And finally, if your rank is beyond 100, uh, you have a chance to go for MTech in CDS. So if you are having a very good gate rank, your first choice should be, should be ISC Bangalore. Also, there is a there is an opportunity that you can do your MTech research also there uh, in, in ISC Bangalore in computer science department and uh, CDS department. So typically, if your rank is around 700 or 800, you can apply for MTech research role and you will have an additional interview and written test. And based on that, you'll be selected for MTech research. So this will be a three years course. I mean, maximum uh, duration could be three years, 2.5 to three years. And you have to choose your sub areas before joining there. So I made a uh, separate video about MTech research in computer science and automation for ISC Bangalore. Uh, that link I'll be given in the description. If you are interested, you can have uh, you can go and have a look on, on that video. In number two, I'll keep IIT Bombay or Indian Institute of Technology Bombay. Now many people have this confusion, specifically who are get top rank holder that what they should join, IIC Bangalore or IIT Bombay. 
Now, a couple of years back, I made a video that why did I choose IIC Bangalore and not IIT Bombay. Uh, so that video is there in my channel. You can have a look in that video. I will be giving the link in the description or it might come in the i button. But overall, what I have seen for last five years, both in terms of research and placement, IIT, Bang IIT Bombay and IIC Bangalore are kind of equivalent. There is not much different. Both of them are doing great research uh, in computer science and engineering uh, uh, particular field. Specifically, I will say if you are interested to do research or do work in machine learning and data science uh, stream, then IIT Bombay is a better place than IIC Bangalore. This is I'm saying uh, because I, I, I have been closely following the research work being published from both, both the institutions and somehow I feel IIC Bangalore is a bit lagging compared to other IITs even in, in ML and AI, uh, AI curriculum. But overall, uh, you know, in the other streams like theoretical computer science system, IIC Bangalore is better than IIT Bombay. But specifically for AI and machine learning domain, IIT Bombay is a bit better place than IIC Bangalore. Now, overall, from placement point of view also, both of them are kind of equivalent. Uh, both of them is to provide a lot of opportunity for students to go for many product based and software industries. The only difference is what I have seen is that in IIC Bangalore, most of the companies used to come and they give you the data data science uh, roles but in IIT Bombay they will give you mostly the software engineering role uh, so if you if you want uh, if, you're, if your aim is to be a data scientist go for ISC Bangalore because you will get more 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 and more data science uh, role offer from different companies uh, there uh, but again I mean if you are thinking about the packages uh, the average packages the highest CTC and all both of them are kind, kind of equivalent. Now coming to whatever the courses being offered in IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay is to offer two courses. Uh, first one is MTech in CSE, that is uh, the normal MTech course that is for two years. And there is a MTech RA course that is kind of equivalent to MTech research uh, in IIC Bangalore. So again, your rank, if your rank is around 100, you will be getting MTech, MTech in CSE for the normal MTech curriculum. And if your, if your rank is around 700, 800, you can obviously apply for uh, MTech RA course, RA, RA course and there will be an, another written test and interview and then you will be selected for that course. Again, this MTech RA course will be taking uh, 2.5 to 3 years. So if your rank is around 100, uh, you can either go for MTech in CDS or ISC or you can go for MTech in uh, CSE for IIT Bombay. Number 3 will be IIT Delhi or Indian Institute of Technology Delhi. Uh, I personally feel in terms of AI machine learning research at least, after IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi is the is the institutions who is doing great research in AI and machine learning domain. They are even doing better research than IIC Bangalore uh, because if you if you see their professors list, there are a lot of good professors there in different areas of uh, uh, machine learning like graph mining. There is a professor, natural language processing. There is a professor, computer vision. There is a professor. So you will have all the options there in computer science and engineering department and. IIT Delhi. So that's why if you are interested to do work in AI machine learning uh, and if you have a scope to choose between ISC Bangalore and IIT Delhi, I will tell you that go for IIT Delhi because the research opportunity and the opportunity to work in machine learning and AI domain is more in IIT Delhi than ISC Bangalore. Now coming to the placement scenario, placement scenario is almost as equal as ISC and IIT Bombay. So it's like almost same, uh, you'll be having a lot of opportunities uh, to appear for different uh, good, good industries. And coming to the courses being offered, I, as far as I know, they only offer MTech in CSE. I'm not sure whether they, they offer MTech research or MS as such. If you know about it, please let me know in the comment section. Then I'll do a, a further survey and make a separate video on top of that. And uh, if your rank is typically 100, 120 or 130, uh, you can you can apply for uh, MTech CSE program there. Now in number four, there are three IITs uh, like IIT Kharagpur, IIT Madras, IIT Kanpur. Uh, why three IITs? Because I personally can't uh, you know differentiate between these three. They are almost uh, equivalent. Uh, so for me, after this top three IIC, IIT Bombay and IIT Delhi, uh, these three are at the same place uh, because they are providing kind of equal research opportunity, equal, equal placement opportunities uh, for, for the students in MTech in CSE. Uh, personally, I feel in AI machine learning research, Kharagpur is a bit better place than uh, Kanpur and uh, Madras. Uh, 
but in other areas uh, kanpur there may be some areas kanpur is doing better in some areas uh, madras is doing better so that's why i said that these three if you have to choose uh, you just look into their recent placement stat and whichever you will be get whichever you feel is uh, is is it doing better in the in their placement state you can go for this because brand wise these three are almost equivalent from research opportunity also they are kind of uh, equivalent so typically if your rank is around 150 to 250 uh, or 150 to 200 then you will be getting any of these uh, institutions for your mtech in cse specifically for kharagpur there is no other things that you have to do and i think for madras also but for kanpur i think you have to go for another round of entrance test so they will have a written test and interview maybe and then they will choose you now coming to the to the iits where you will get if your rank is beyond 250 uh, so the your first choice will be iit guwahati or iit Roorkee because those are the uh, you know kind of middle tier iits that is there after those uh, top five or six iits so in these iits also the placement will be good only but the, from the research point of view i don't know how they how good they are uh, so their research contribution in recent times in different top tier country uh, top tier uh, journal and conferences is not the, not that good but it's a good place to do your uh, mtech at least from the placement point of view and at the end of the day you will have a iit tag uh, uh, with your mtech degree so these are two iits you can you can look for if your rank is around 250 to 400 now if your rank is beyond 400 then you have two choices either you could you can go for uh, you know good uh, good nits like nit trichy or nit warangal if you're getting them or you can go for these new iits like iit hyderabad iit patna and all now what you should do uh, so as far as i know or as far as my knowledge is that nits are not a good place to do research they're good in terms of placement you will have a very good job with, with very good package there so if you if you get if you are if your aim is to go for a job then if you are getting this good nits obviously go for that but if you are looking for a research exposure also in uh, with with your with your mtech uh, curriculum then i will i will tell you that go for these two new iits that is iit hyderabad and iit patna uh, because what i have seen is that from these two iits uh, research output is really good specifically in ai and machine learning domain uh, so among these iit hyderabad and iit patna my first choice would be iit hyderabad because in recent times their growth is really really exceptional i mean i don't know how much you follow research throughput but um, they are doing really great research in deep learning computer vision and all in iit hyderabad and, and and it has a positional benefit also because it's in hyderabad so most of the companies used to visit the campus and in, on the other hand iit patna specifically they are really good in natural language processing or nlp uh, so they have a good group there so that's why if you are interested to do work in nlp specifically then obviously you should go for uh, iit patna and if you are working in nlp your chance of getting a job in industry is also very good nowadays so that's why from placement point of view also iit patna will be good so if 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 you want uh, research as well as the placement opportunity go for the new iits but if your only goal is to go for a job if you don't need any kind of research exposure then you should go for the new uh, the good uh, nits that is there like nit trichy or angle surat kal and all yeah so these are the kind of uh, iits or nits that i feel uh, that i should mention uh, because these are the good iits and nits that you, you should you should go for but there are other iits also there their placement scenario is quite kind of similar that's why i didn't mention about it they are kind of similar iits uh, if you have to choose one of them from those iits just have a look on their recent placement stat and based on that decide whichever iit will be suiting you and now coming to the other colleges uh, among the other colleges the first college that i'll tell you to look into is triple iit hyderabad triple iit hyderabad is highly regarded for for his computer science uh, curriculum both mtech and btech and they have a separate exam for it and it will happen around around uh, april first week uh, so if your rank is not good for gate uh, 2023 I would recommend you that you apply for uh, IIIT Hyderabad entrance test and if you're getting uh, there, it's a good opportunity because IIIT Hyderabad, they are good both in research and placement uh, and coding also. So if you if you are doing your MTech from IIIT Hyderabad, your coding skill will be, will be improved because they have a good <coughs> coding culture. And uh, they are they are providing good good kind of uh, you know placement opportunity because again it's a, it's in Hyderabad so they have a positional benefit, and from research point of view also they are doing good research at least in machine learning AI what I have seen, so it's a good place to do your uh, M Tech if if you if you haven't done good in a, uh, Gate 2023 
start preparing for triple IIT uh, exam and if you are getting uh, triple IIT Hyderabad that will be really really good next is triple IIT Delhi that is also good uh, in terms of placement and research opportunity so if you are not getting triple IIT Hyderabad I would tell you that you should go for triple IIT Delhi yeah that's it about the colleges that I want to mention specifically uh, for you uh, who have cracked gate with a good rank uh, obviously there are some other many other colleges that is there they are also offering mtech in cse but uh, these colleges are a bit better in terms of placement and research uh, in computer science engineering field but obviously if you are not getting any of these colleges and if you have to choose other colleges two things you should keep into your mind first of all check the placement scenario that is there in recent times in those colleges and secondly see the what are the labs are there and whatever actually matches your interest go for that particular colleges so that's it guys that's it about this video i hope this will be helpful for all the aspirants uh, who have just uh, given gate 2023 waiting for their rank and preparing preparing for going for mtech uh, this year so please like the video if you have liked it and share this video to all of your friends who are also kind of aspirants so that they also get to know about it and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye